Hey everybody, Kevin from 3D Printed Props. You're probably wondering, why am I not in the workroom? Well, the workroom is the basement and I've got three printers going and the laundry and it is quite loud. So I decided, shoot up here, shoot my office. And I think I like the setup. Um, it's, a, it's more quiet and uh, the coffee's closer. The coffee's closer. So what are we gonna be talking about in today's video? The Anycubic i3 Omega. I got this printer in in January and I really wanted to print a lot on it. And then I, you know, was on vacation and whatnot. I tell you what, this printer is so sharp. <laughs> the detail in it is incredible. The setup is incredible. It's easy. Uh, really, really love this printer. It's got a smaller print bed, but I tell you what, you can fit a lot on that, especially if you're not printing gigantic things, you can always chop them up. But when you need fine work, I see a lot of people doing miniatures and stuff now. This printer is incredible. You could set it at 0.9, you know, or 0.09 or 1.1, uh, and it is just so sharp. I mean, these prints are incredibly sharp. So definitely check it out. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play the review uh, after this or the setup and looking at it, but just a great printer. I loved it. Uh, if you click on the link below, and it's, a it's an affiliate link. So if you click on that below, you go to GearBest and you can pick one up. Uh, buying it from that link helps the channel. Maybe I can get some more printers to review. Uh, I really enjoy reviewing pr printers and trying new things. So if you're thinking about getting a printer, uh, this is just a fantastic printer. Uh, I printed so much on this stuff. Uh, I printed uh, many pieces to the Fortnite weapons. Uh, I printed uh, Thanos on it. Uh, I can't even remember, I probably should have, but I've printed a ton of stuff on this printer. Again, for figures, it is incredible. So again, take a look at the link below to the Anycubic uh, or to Gear Beast uh, to, or Best to pick up the uh, printer if you're interested. Um, I love the printer. So without further, further ado, let's uh, take a look at the setup and a little print that I made. <laughs> All right guys, well welcome back to the video. I'm not sure why I said our first review since it's really only me. I think I'm, I think I'm speaking of our, of mine, yours, uh, <laughs> our first review. So this is pretty exciting. Um, got this printed from GearBest and of course all the coupon codes for it are below. Also coupon codes for the CR10 which is my other printer back there that I love. So I'm gonna be taking this out of the box and setting it up over here cleaned off workspace and then uh, running uh, a quick few sort of benchies through it or something along those lines and then over the next several weeks be printing quite a bit on it I've got a pretty packed print schedule that I want to be working on and I'm hoping this will lessen the load and really kick out some cool prints so the box is over here that's no big deal but of course we got some nice foam and I know I should throw this out but maybe I can use it for something I don't know so I'm gonna throw it over there it's the tripod. So first thing, what do we have? Uh, bag O stuff. It looks like we got the hot end in there, uh, a nice little scraper, some other pieces, parts, the really uh, the odd filament holder, but we'll get to that in a minute. So a neat bag O stuff USB cable. That's nice. Um, add to the collection. So there we go. Bag O stuff. Power cord. Now make sure when you uh, pick one of these up, if you pick one of these up uh, from Gear Best, the coupon code that I'll have in the below is for the US version. But make sure you get the US version for the correct plug and power supply. So now let's go for the meat and potatoes of the printer and let's see if I can get this out of here. Nice. Wow. Let's get some good weight to it. And of course, here's the print bed and everything. Now of course the print bed isn't as big as the CR10 but we'll get to all that stuff later. And what else do we have? Oh wow, this is pretty much a full, uh, a full? A full um, spool. So this is great. I am 
almost out of filament right now. So this is fantastic. So this printer comes in basically two parts for the most part. That for the most part comes in two parts. And uh, now what we're going to go ahead and do and work on looking at the instructions and putting this together. Although I cannot imagine this is going to take all that long. So yeah, let's go ahead and put it together. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, we're going to put the frame onto the bed first because I looked at the instructions and that's what it said to do. And again, <laughs> this looks like it's going to be fairly easy, but that's always, uh, those are always the ones that end up doing you in. So uh, it comes with quite a few of these little hex bolts and you're going to use a 532nd Allen wrench to put them in. Well, that was crazy fast putting that together. <laughs> I mean, obviously it's not done, but it's on its way. Very, what I'm really impressed about is so far is, yeah, again, the print bed isn't as big as the CR-10, but I love the compact design. It is very sturdy. Um, a little graphics on the front. Whenever you got a little robot on the front of something, that's always fun. And I'm dropping screws already. Okay, now that we got all the screws in and the frame is tightened on here, of course you want to check to make sure that the voltage is correct for your country. So that is set for mine. I am good. Okay, then what we want to do is when we've got the frame assembled, we want to go ahead and uh, attach all the wiring and electronics. We've got the um, filament sensor. So we're going to make sure we attach that and the, uh, the stepper motors. The nice thing about these are they're all color coded. So we've got green, red, and black. So I'm going to put the black in first since it's on the bottom and it would be more Okay, so <laughs> this is the funny thing. I was a little confused because uh, I didn't realize I was done, is basically what it was. Uh, the only thing left to do is take the filament sensor, and it's got a little metal ball bearing, and there's a little magnet there, and it snaps there, and it sort of just floats. And then we're going to, of course, feed our filament through here, and up through here, and bring it over. But that was it. That was it. That was putting the printer together. Um, filming, you know, and just doing it, uh, this thing would have taken me 10 minutes maybe to put together, 15 minutes tops. So that is pretty exciting. Let me go through just a few of the things that came in that bag and then we're going to put together the filament holder. Uh, some neat little, very sharp pointy tweezers, a little USB uh, stick that you can put a macro one or a micro one in. Great flush cutters, which we always need and we will always use. Little screwdrivers, some Allen wrenches, different types of Allen wrenches, extra screws, SD card, uh, what are those things called? You know, like the bigger SD card, you can put the micro SD in. Little player, additional stepper, uh, stepper switch, and rubber gloves, which I probably should have had on because my hands are very oily and greasy. And of course, uh, a new scraper, which is nice. And uh, we've got a replacement head. Very cool. Move that stuff over. I'm going to put the printer here for a second. And uh, last but not least, this is Anycubic's. Uh, holder for the filament. So I'm going to go ahead and put this uh, filament holder together. I ended up not even using it. Just go to Thingiverse and print one out. Uh, I'll put the link below. It's perfect. So here's the filament sensor, which is pretty neat because it's the first printer that I have with a filament sensor. And you just feed it up through 
uh, put the little ball there. I find it doesn't stay very much, but what are you going to do? Uh, feed it up a little bit, get a look at my bald spot, and then you're going to go ahead and actually use the uh, controls, the LCD controls, to uh, feed it all the way through the Bowden tube and down to the nozzle. Okay, so like earlier I said, we had to wait until we moved the filament through the Bowden tube till we did a preheat. So let's go ahead and turn the temperature up and we'll bring it to 220 or 210. This is interesting. I have to say, I think I would have had a dial set faster, but... And I'm not going to bother with the bed yet because we don't need that. I'm going to hit OK. And there it goes zooming up there it's going pretty quickly uh, that's pretty neat again uh, touch pad uh, is interesting and this is any cubics ultra base it is a really interesting substance it's got a little bit of a tooth to it uh, and the cool thing about this is once it cools the sort of the, the print just pops off of it and this stuff things stick to this thing like crazy no hairspray no glues no nothing so I'm really excited to give that a try uh, and see how that works out Okay, now that the uh, filament is finally hitting the nozzle there, I've got it set to slow, so it isn't very dramatic, but I do know that filament is coming out. And then we're going to go ahead and level the bed. So I just use the controls to send it home so that uh, it's ready to go. And this is a kind of easy system as well. You just turn the little screws. Uh, they're fairly accessible. The front two are. The back two are a little tricky. But, you know, uh, you're just using those to make sure you get the, the right sort of uh, friction mark there with paper. Then I'm going to go ahead and set them home again. We're going to use the little um, SD card. It's got a micro SD in it. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm liking... Uh, the uh, some of the printers now that use full usb sticks but this will do and you put it in the right way there we go <laughs> we go to print and i'm going to print the little owl that came with it and i got to tell you what when i saw this i could not believe it i mean the cr10 is pretty sharp but these things just shine uh this is printed with uh the 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 what is it the filament that it came with i don't even know what it was and you can see that yes i could have snapped those off but i was still <laughs> they were still warm if you let the bed cool you don't have to worry about that they'll just come right off but i went ahead and uh, wanted to get them off faster so that i can shoot some more of the video so i i popped them off with a with a little spatula thing but you can just see look at the look at the back of this thing how smooth it is it is incredible Okay, everybody, that is the Anacubic i3 Omega fantastic printer. Again, go to the description, click on the link. You can also find everything that I use to make all the stuff I make uh, in a link in the description. And, of course, check out my Patreon site. I'll be loading more uh, STL uh, free or STL files. It's a dollar to become a patron to have access to everything. Uh, so you can check that out, uh, again, in the link below. All right, thanks a lot for watching. Again, any cubic right now actually i'm printing a amazing mcdonald's burger warrior that yuri printed up over on patreon check him out too he's fantastic his link will be down there also all right guys take it easy and i'll see you in the next video